Welcome to Rain's Story View. So today, I was just been shooting at that target over there. But today we got uh, a machine gun and it's already been unboxed. We're too excited to shoot this off the thing out. This and is the, the air, zone. air Zone Quick Fire Gatling Blaster, or as me and Reagan call it, the Mill. The Milgan. Oh. I don't know how we came up with that name, but instead of Quick Fire Gatling Blaster, we call this the Milgan. So, how to open the... Here, let me zoom in real close. Uh, Why don't we do this? The first thing, before we show them how to open, you get an instruction booklet. You also get a set of darts. Now, these darts aren't really usable in other guns. Um, no, really. They have a they have a uh, flat a hard top. front and a hard yeah. top. Um, like this. It. And when you dump the chain over and you have all the dark oh there you got one. Out. See, let me zoom in real quick and show them. See, it's, it's got a flat front and it's a short dart. And look at the, the opening is smaller too than a typical Nerf. But what you get is you get a chain. Okay. It's like 25 darts. And if you think this is really soft. Not. It's hard. It's, it's hard. really hard. Yep. This is where you, uh, this little arrow right here you is the beginning of your chain. And there's a guide inside of your uh, Gatling gun that shows you that you drop this there first. And you load up all these other darts through here. Now these first two right here, that's your beginning and your end on your chain, on your fire. So the chain will start rotating through like this. And then eventually you'll come back around to this one. And that's the end of your fire because look, there's no darts in it. The it's barrel a, rotates a too, if you wonder. Yes, the barrel does rotate. And in some comparisons, the reason that we selected this one versus the the, uh, the Nerf Vulcan is because the Vulcan cannot shoot as far as the air zone. It just and cannot. If you if we never got the Vulcan before and you, and just if you think the Vulcan shoots farther, just leave it in the comments below. Okay. Well, we watch Reagan is. Let me tell you, Reagan is a big researcher on all of these uh, Nerf guns. He watches hours of video, studies them, comes talks to me and mom, and tells us about which ones shoot further, which one have better clips, all the types of different actions the guns perform. So he's pretty pretty proud of his really, Nerf knowledge. Actually, there's no better clips. They're just all the same, but they're. Well, you got the ones that you can see through, right? Yeah. This. It's we like that one better. It got a little sand in it, so it doesn't really But anyway, so he, he really goes in, gets into all this stuff, and uh, we support his Nerf hobby, obviously. And uh, But this was a gun that we said, you know what? We really need um, a Gatling gun. And are we going to do machine the machine gun? Are we really going to do the Gatling, or are we going to do the Vulcan? And that cost hundred dollars. We both decided, and since the Vulcan's not on store shelves anymore, it's like at Amazon and other stores, we decided to go with the Air Zone after some other reviews that we saw, so we decided to get one ourselves. So let's take a look at how this goes together. And first, before we do that, let me just show you. It's got a nice big box that comes in. It really sticks off on the shelf. You can see it clear as day when you walk down the shelf. And here is the back, per the usual. Let me just show you real quick. And guys. I just didn't collect Nerf guns before you guys, so I didn't. I never got the cool long shot or the cool Vulcan. Right. I wish that Arizona made a tripod on it so it's easy to balance. Now that's a good point. Instead of like carrying it, because the Vulcan has a tripod, and it's kind of like this, and you put it on, and it's more better to sit it on the it. ground instead of like doing that. Right. So the chain, the chain can't rotate with the barrel. Exactly. That would that is a really good point there, yeah. Reagan. I forgot that the uh, Vulcan had the accessory yeah, the, tripod. And the Vulcan has two modes. The single mode is cock shoot, cock shoot. And there's another one that there's like a thing right there that you flip up and you push it and you hold it and it does automatic mode. Okay. That's Excellent. A, that's a cool thing. That's that's cool about it. So Reagan got this out. Here is the Arizona. Yeah, yeah. And this is what it looks like separate. So here's all your pieces. Uh, just typical guide. Now, it does take six AA batteries. So if you go buy one of these monsters, make sure you pick up at least an eight pack of batteries. At least. And Stampede um, has more Six C batteries, batteries doesn't it? Or D batteries? D or C? I think it's D. Yeah, it's D. It's huge. It's 
more complicated than this one. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So you want to show them? Um. So what we do is we take the chain and we just what we usually you, know, you get your floppy chain, but if you put your chain together and then you just kind of roll it into a little ball, then Reagan and I get our bullets. I want to get my bullets. Okay. Be right back, guys. All right, he's gonna go there and grab the bullets. So what we do is we make this big cluster right here, and that way it's a lot easier to load up. I just realized it wasn't very clear the right there, but. Mine's work. Not that much as good. Not as, as good as the darts these. that are made for it. But if you do suction cups, these won't work. And if you wonder, bus speed darts, they don't shoot as far as these. So we're gonna start loading. You see, these are like short little darts again with the small, uh, the and small hole inside the dart. Over there by with all the darts. And I'll show you it later after we shoot all of our. When you shoot this uh, Milgan. We're running out of daylight here, so we got to get this baby loaded so you guys can see just how awesome this gun is. Now, what Reagan and I did is we have all kinds of separate uh, little tubs that we keep all of the uh, ammunition in. Man, we're not of ammo. Well, we're, we're missing a couple. We're just They're probably in the house. But we do this and keep them separated so we can immediately just grab what we need. We also have him an ammo bucket that we picked up at Academy yeah, that turned out really nice. Awesome. So let's All show right. him how to load. So we are missing a couple, but that's okay. I put it in. You don't want to put it on the back side. What my dad discovered is um, you put it through it and. Like this. And you have to put the orange tip right here. Let me see. Right. Like see the hole? Yep. You put that orange tip. To line tip. it up. One second, Dad. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. You want to show them? All right, so here we go. So I open up the chain with my hand. I drag it over this. And you see the orange starting point? You just kind of wrestle it down right A there. A little bit. You don't want to wrestle it down that hard because um, all the darts will fall out. Just that we told you. We don't want to like flip it over. There we go. Okay, time to do this, baby. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to back up first. and show what it looks like. Now, hold it out so they can get an idea of how big it is. This is a pretty big gun, guys. It's impressive looking. The barrel spins just like a Gatling yeah. gun would spin, which is really, really cool. This is my sign. I made a target, flying bird, and the zombie. You can see we've been out here shooting for quite a while. Look at all of our bullets. So. Let's give them an idea of the range, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a range. And I'm just gonna show you just kind of where we are here. Here's all the bullets, keep going back. Let's go all the way back. Cause we want them to get an idea of range. Everyone wants to see how far it can shoot. Go all the way back, all the way back. All right, let's see how far we can get here. All right. Yeah! See, those are almost going over the fence. All right, now wait, wait. All right, we got a couple left. This one just flopped out a little bit. All right, go ahead and shoot. Okay. See so you guys. The first test of some flopped out the gun. All right. You can see all the Nerf guns over there on the table. So let's just stay right there, Reagan. I'm gonna count how, how many feet. So you can see we were going well past this uh, the the target here. I mean, we really could have shot it even further. But I'm gonna show you just from where we were. All right. I'm gonna count it off. My I have a big foot, so I'm gonna count my foot as a foot. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Just about 27 feet, yeah. maybe a little bit more. And I honestly think it could go even further than that. Yeah, if, I'll just move back a little more and get a, not a up dart. And the other thing is, what Reagan was saying, if you tilt your gun up a little bit and give your dart some velocity, they obviously will soar further because they have a chance to go up, they reach their highest point, and then they break and they start going down. Yes, it made it. Yeah, it does. This gun rocks. So dumb. 
give a thumbs up and comment below. So I just this shoots. I guess it shoots really far than the Vulcan. Yeah, well, it definitely shoots further than the Vulcan. If you watch any of the videos on YouTube about the Vulcan, you'll see that a lot of times people are irritated because it jams, and yeah. it also doesn't shoot if nearly you have, as if far. You don't have the jam, if you don't have the, the box on it, it jams a lot. Yeah, so it's, the, you know, they're, they're both down. different guns and how they look and how they operate, but this one, in our opinion, is a lot better than Vulcan. Even though we don't have the Vulcan, we've seen plenty of videos to recognize that this is the bad boy when I it comes to machine guns. Videos and the Vulcan like flopped out darts. Right, shoots them and they go like this, right? Yeah, they just kind of tail, they don't even go far. Don't make other comments about it. If you don't, if you're a good subscriber, thank you very much. And here is the, the Milgan, it's not a real that's name. What we, but that's what we call it, we yeah. call it the Milgan. So this go pick is it up. one of the cool guns. There's blue and yellow, but at our store, there was yellow, and this is not Toy Story. All right, well, go check it out, guys. Check it out at Toys R Us. You might be able to find it at Walmart. Again, this is the Airzone Gatlin gun. Go get yourself one. It is highly accurate. It has a fast rate of speed on shooting, and uh, it's got little proprietary darts is the only downfall, I think, because when we went back to uh, Toys R Us, we couldn't find, like, Gatlin gun refill. So that's yeah. kind of a, eh, that's not so, so good. But we keep an eye on them. We've only lost, like, two, and they're in the house somewhere, no, but we'll find three. them. Oh, three? There's uh, another one. Okay, well, pardon me. So we've got three that are gone. So that's the only downfall, real negative thing I can yeah. see about it. But other than that, we love this gun. So go get yeah. yourself one. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Reagan's Toy Review. And as always, visit us over at Reagan'sToyReview.com. This is Reaganzilla and Daddy signing out. Comment Bye. below and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.